you don't mind. I'm a nursing mom. Babies have to eat too. <laughs> I do have a couple chicken. Okay, that'd be great. What's up, ladies? You look super cute. You looking cute too. I thought you was on Love that scrub. You sent me a picture from you in the hospital. I was like, oh, she about to cancel. It's been a crazy day so far. Like, I'm glad to be off, ready to have a cocktail. You do look stressed. I am. Well, I had one patient who was for a cervidal induction oh, last night. Okay, forget it. I don't know what the okay. talking about. Okay, all right. <laughs> Spicy. It's spicy. Okay. Well, that's good. Are you a drama for old? Because you like your house so clean all the time. I, you know, it's just my mom. You know when I grew up, she had us using bleach and uh, ammonia at the same time? Like, I, we would be in there, would be fumes everywhere. She'd be like, get in that crevice. <laughs> yeah, I, and it just stuck with me. That's why I grew up me and Eugene. I'd be like, uh, you going to leave that like that? I need to learn how to say stuff like that. Like what? When I'm like, you going to leave that like that? You need a, a nicer way to do it. I thought maybe having like a birthday dinner here. Yeah, no, I wouldn't have liked this on my birthday. But I'm just saying. Do <laughs> so I have to keep changing for this? It's called evolving. It can't be that one person gets stuck in any, in a set pattern. I think Eugene is set. The last time we talked, he wasn't understanding what I was saying at all. Eugene and I, we're at a place now where we need to Re-establish our romance and our relationship. Re-establish, you know, the fun. You know, I told you I love this place. I know that this is something that you love, and so I'm embracing the fact that you love it, but you sure this is about me? Like, there's no passion. Come on, dude, like, ask me out. Put on our calendar. We're going to so-and-so on Friday. OK. Now I'm, I have something to look forward to. So why don't you plan a couple of the date nights? Sir? But that, that's the problem. I'm the planner. You know what I'm saying? It's like we switch roles. When he dated me, he would plan so much <laughs> He would enlighten me. Eugene thinks when he plans something. He it, told you. He told people, then shut your mouth. OK, go on. He's scared to plan things because you're so critical. For your birthday, was it last year? Y'all went to South Carolina. This is horrible. Toya, Toya, this is why. He takes me to South Carolina because he said it was on our bucket list. But we get there, he puts me on some horse-driven carriage where they're giving the history. I've always told him I hate history. I've cheated in history. And here we are learning about the history of some place. Toya, do you even hear yourself? He would enlighten me. This man loves you and is trying to do things for you, and you're unappreciative. I want you to remember when you're dealing with Eugene. Cut him some slack. What happened to fake it till you make it? After 15 years, faking it. I don't know what to tell you, because life is about balance. I'm balanced. <laughs> Unbalanced as to me. I'm balanced. Girl, it's time to go. Simone, you paying today? Check. I'm going to go to the Check bathroom. I'll be right back. That's so Atlanta <laughs> right there. Patients. We got some implants. We're real busy. All right, cool. Have a great day, okay? Sounds good. All right. Come on, baby. Let's sit up, baby, Get before we up, start. Girl, girl. Sit it up. Ooh. Let's talk about it before we get a numb now. Sister. Let me see your eyes. I need to see what you're talking about. Sister, every time I come here, I'm nervous. Okay. And you're the only woman that I let go in my mouth like you do. Because mm -hmm. I don't let women in my mouth. Oh, okay then. Only men.
T.S. Madison is my good friend, and T.S. stands for Transsexual Madison. She invited me to be on her show called Queen's Court. But as soon as I met her, we hit it off. Heaven help us featuring Dr. Heavenly Kimes, and I have a special guest today. Well, I know my place. I'm just T.S. Madison. Hi, everybody. Oh, you are all I'm doing is taking this off. I'm gonna take your healing cap off. I'm gonna place your abutment on, and then I'm gonna cement this on here. That's it. She needs an implant in the back, and honestly, we're gonna place the implant there and have her being as beautiful and as flawless as ever. Yes, can I ask you a question? Because a lot of things we don't know and we're ignorant of. Like I was, like when I met you, I thought you, you know what I mean? You I didn't I even a, know. You thought a I was woman. a full fledged woman, cisgender woman, whatever you wanna call what it. What pisses me off the most is that black people mm -hmm. don't wanna respect it. Mm. Mm. when we are, as black people, the most disrespected thing in yeah. the United States of America. So mm -hmm. me being trans, is that's my identity, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And so people are always afraid of what they don't understand. T.S. Madison has helped me a lot understand her identity and her community just by communication because I just did not understand their plight. I'm 45 years old. Imagine me back in the time watching television. I didn't see any trans or a drag on TV. Guess what I turned out to be? Right. A so trans. Impressive. And you a beautiful one at that. And let's fix your teeth, baby. Transgender, <laughs> baby. After knowing T.S. Madison and other transgenders, they just want to be accepted just like everybody else. Okay, now I got it in there. I'm just going to unscrew it, OK? I can't believe you acting like this. This is like a little screw, see? She identifies as a woman, and you have to respect that. That's who she is, and she's a beautiful woman. All right, you want to open up? Open up, see what? Hey, how are you? You did great. I did not. You, uh, you are awful. I'm so embarrassed. You are awful. <laughs> It's always good to see you. I love you. I love you. I love you. You, you I know what? And you educate me every time I come here. Mm -hmm. And you always make me feel like my titties just not big enough. Oh, girl, they not. You got to get you something. What's that? Uh, uh, 46 triple D. Uh, uh, you are H. <laughs> you are H. That's right, a hoe. There you go. There you go. See you later. See you, Spanish. I love you. I love you, you heavily. Baby, see you later.